Hearing with your mouth? Tasting with, with your feet? Seeing with your ears? Are they doing it wrong? Nope. Just science, bro. Hey animals, Trace here smelling out the facts for D News. This week it was announced that this little frog, <laughs> he's doing it wrong. He's hearing with his mouth. What? <laughs> Who does that? This funny little amphibian lives in the Republic of Seychelles off the eastern coast of Africa. And at first glance, it actually seems to be deaf. Most ears have three sections, the outer, the middle, and the inner ear. In humans, the outer ear collects the sound and then channels it to the eardrum, which vibrates small bones in the middle ear. Those bones translate the sound energy to mechanical energy, which in turn heads into the cochlea in the inner ear for processing in the brain. These frogs, they've got no middle ear. They've got no eardrum, but they croak. Why? Why would you do that? 99.9% .9 of sound waves are reflected off the skin, so without an ear to collect them, their mates would have no way to hear their pleas for affection. Well, scientists x-rayed their heads and found an inner ear. Instead of hearing through an ear or a tympanic membrane like some frogs, these little fellas use their mouth to amplify the sound and channel it through their skull to their inner ear. They can hear without ears. What the crap, science? What? They're not the only crazy sensing mutant out there. This is a butterfly. Maybe you've seen one before. <laughs> they stick out their tongues and they suck up nectar from flowers, but this isn't about their tongues. <laughs> oh no, no, no. It's about their feet. They use their feet to taste stuff. On the feet of a butterfly are these special sensors called chemoreceptors that check the chemical makeup of the things that they're standing on, while other specialized sensors test if it's good for egg laying. Not quite a seasoned palate for foie gras, but still. Taste here, what about smell? Snakes, these slithery little guys have a pretty good sense of smell, but how they do it's a bit awkward. When you watch a snake, you'll see its little tongue flitting out there, and that tongue is collecting air and then running it over the vomero nasal organ on the roof of their mouth. The VNO needs direct contact in order to smell, and it relays chemical information about what's around the snake directly to their creepy little snake brains. The VNO is present in a few species of lizard, and get this, it's, it's in us too, it's in our heads but it doesn't really work right. When it comes to seeing in novel ways, the coolest, I think, is echolocation. The most famous echolocating animal is probably the bat. Bats use loud, high-pitched sounds to see with their ears. They detect things in their flight path as small as individual insects. Some humans have taught themselves how to echolocate, too. The sound waves bounce off surfaces and relay sizes and angles, and by the amount of sound, they can even tell sometimes whether things are made of metal or wood. What are some other cool ways animals can sense things without using uh, traditional means? Tell us yours in the comments. And thanks to you, we have hit 200,000 subscribers. We thank you for that so much. We do this every day for you. So seriously, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.